Welcome back to Bible Quizzes. We got another 80 questions once again, so let's get started. One, who prophesied that the Messiah would be called Emmanuel? Jeremiah, Isaiah, David, or Ezekiel? Isaiah, Isaiah 714, therefore the Lord himself will give you a sign. Behold, the virgin shall conceive and bear a son and shall call his name Emmanuel. Two, whom was Joseph the father of Jesus fleeing when he went to Egypt? Herod, Caesar, the high priest, or Pilate? Herod, Matthew 2, 13 to 14, Behold, an angel of the Lord appeared to, his Joseph, to Joseph in a dream, saying, Arise, take the young child and his mother, flee to Egypt, and stay there until I bring you word, for Herod will seek the young child to destroy him. 3. Abimelech was king over which nation? Salem, Midian, Gerar, or Edom? Gerar, Genesis 22. Now Abraham said of Sarah his wife, She is my sister. And Abimelech king of Gerar sent and took Sarah. 4. Where was Joseph kept before he was sold? Prison, pit, cave, or bush? Pit. Genesis 37, 24, then they took him and cast him into a pit, and the pit was empty. There was no water in it. 5. Which book talks extensively about priests and sacrifices? Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, or Numbers? Leviticus. The book of Leviticus extensively talks about priests and sacrifices. 6. What did the scroll taste like in Ezekiel's mouth when he ate it? Sour, sweet as honey, bitter, or like water? Sweet as honey. Ezekiel 3.3, And he said to me, Son of man, feed your belly and fill your stomach with this scroll that I give you. So I ate, and it was in my mouth like honey and sweetness. 7. Who among these was called to be a prophet from a very young age? Isaiah, Daniel, Amos, or Jeremiah? Jeremiah. Jeremiah 1, 5-6 Before I formed you in the womb, I knew you. Before you were born, I sanctified you. I ordained you a prophet to the nations. Then said I, Ah, Lord God, behold, I cannot speak, for I am a youth. 8. In which cave was Sarah buried? Hira, Mechida, Adullam, or Machpelah? Machpella, Genesis 23, 19. And after this, Abraham buried Sarah, his wife, in the cave of the field of Machpella before Mamre, that is Hebron, in the land of Canaan. 9. Who carried the bones of Joseph from Egypt? Jacob, Moses, Aaron, or Joshua? Moses, Exodus 13, 19, And Moses took the bones of Joseph with him, for he had placed the children of Israel under solemn oath, saying, God will surely visit you, and you shall carry up my bones from here with you. 10. After how many years did the Israelites leave Egypt? 400, 430, 450, or 460? Four hundred thirty. Exodus twelve forty to forty one. Now the sojourn of the children of Israel who lived in Egypt was four hundred and thirty years, and it came to pass at the end of the four hundred and thirty years, on that very same day, all, that all the armies of the Lord went out. Eleven. Who were Shifra and Pua, priestesses, midwives, slaves, or Pharaoh's wives?
Midwives. Exodus 1, 15-17, the king of Egypt spoke to the Hebrew midwives of whom the name of one was Shifra and the other Pua, and he said, When you do the duties of a midwife for the Hebrew woman and see them on the birth stools. 12. Who convinced God to let Job suffer loss? His wife, Leviathan, Satan, or Gabriel? Satan, Job 1, 9-12. So Satan answered the Lord and said, Does Job fear God for nothing? But now stretch out your hand and touch all that he has, and he will surely curse you to your face. And the Lord said to Satan, Behold all that he has in your power. 13. Who among the apostles said he had a thorn in his flesh? John, Peter, Thomas, or Paul? Paul, 2 Corinthians 12, 7, And lest I, Paul, should be exalted above measure by the abundance of the revelations, a thorn in the flesh was given to me, a messenger of Satan to buffet me, lest I be exalted above measure. 14. Which of these is not among the colors of the four apocalyptic horses in Revelation? Brown, black, white, or red? Brown, Revelation 6, 2-8, And I looked, and behold, a white horse, another horse, fiery red. So I looked, and behold, a black horse, and I looked, and behold, a pale horse. 15. Which Old Testament prophet prophesied about the four horses? Zechariah, Jeremiah, Ezekiel, or Daniel? Zechariah, Zechariah 6, 1-3, Then I turned and raised my eyes and looked, and behold, four chariots were coming from between two mountains. The first chariot had red horses, the second chariot black horses, the third chariot white horses. 16. What animal was Balaam riding on? Horse, mule, donkey, or camel? Donkey, Numbers 22, 21-22. So Balaam rose in the morning, saddled his donkey, and went with the princess of Moab. Then God's anger was aroused because he went, and the angel of the Lord took his stand in the way as an adversary against him. 17. How old was Isaac when he married Rebekah? 40 years, 60 years, 20 years, or 50 years? Forty years. Genesis 25:20. Isaac was 40 years old when he took Rebekah as wife, the daughter of Bethuel, the Syrian of Padan Aram, the sister of Laban the Syrian. 18. Who commanded the sun to stand still? Joshua. Joshua 10, 12-13, Then Joshua spoke to the Lord, Sun, stand still over Gibeon, and moon in the valley of Aijalon. So the sun stood still, and the moon stopped, till the people had revenge upon their enemies. 19. Which prophet was known as the Tishbite? Elisha, Isaiah, Amos, or Elijah? Elijah, 1 Kings 17, 1, and Elijah the Tishbite of the inhabitants of Gilead said to Ahab, As the Lord God of Israel lives, before whom I stand, there shall not be dew nor rain these years except at my word. 20. What was the texture of Esau's skin? Smooth, hairy, scaly, or dry? Harry, Genesis 25, 25, and the first came out red. He was like a hairy garment all over, so they called his name Esau. 21. In which place did the Israelites bitterly contend with God? Shiloh, Sinai, Meribah, or Gilgal? Meribah. Exodus 17.7, So he called the name of the place Massa and Meribah, because of the contention of the children of Israel, and because they tempted the Lord, saying, Is the Lord among us or not? 22. 
How long did God tell Abraham his descendants would be slaves? 430 years? 400 years? 70 years? Or 40 years? Four hundred years. Genesis 15:13. Then he said to Abram, Know certainly that your descendants will be strangers in a land that is not theirs, and will serve them, and they will afflict them for four hundred years. 23. What was Jesus teaching in the parable of the woman and the wicked judge? Justice, forgiveness, prayer, or humility? Prayer, Luke 18, 1 through 2. Then he spoke a parable to them, that men always ought to pray and not lose heart, saying, There was in a certain city a judge who did not fear God nor regard man. 24. What was the content of Jesus' sweat when he earnestly prayed in the garden? Blood, water, saliva, or tears? Blood. Luke 22, 44. And being in agony, he prayed more earnestly. Then his sweat became like great drops of blood falling down to the ground. 25. Whom did Jesus tell those who live by the sword die by it? John, Peter, Judas, or Thomas? Peter. Matthew 26, 52, But Jesus said to him, Peter, put your sword in its place, for all who take the sword will perish by the sword. 26, In which city was Paul advised not to go, for suffering awaited him? Ephesus, Rome, Jerusalem, or Corinth? Jerusalem, Acts 21, 10 through 11, and as we stayed many days, a certain prophet named Agabus came from Judea. He took Paul's belt, bound his own hands and feet, and said, "Thus says the Lord, thus says the Holy Spirit: So shall the Jews at Jerusalem bind the man who owns this belt." 27. Which apostle was taken away by the Spirit after baptizing someone? Philip, John, Paul, or Peter? Philip, Acts 8, 39-40, Now when they came up out of the water, the Spirit of the Lord caught Philip away so that the eunuch saw him no more, but Philip was found at Azotus. 28, Whom did Jesus see seated under the fig tree? Thomas, Andrew, Peter, or Nathaniel? Nathaniel, John 1, 48. Nathaniel said to him, How do you know me? Jesus answered and said to him, Before Philip called you, when you were under the fig tree, I saw you. 29. Who was a prophetess that witnessed Jesus' dedication? Anna, Luke 2, 36-38. Now there was one, Anna, a prophetess who did not depart from the temple, but served God with fastings and prayers night and day. She gave thanks to the Lord and spoke of him. 30. Which prophet bought land worth 17 shekels? Isaiah, Ezekiel, Elijah, or Jeremiah? Jeremiah, Jeremiah 32, 9. So I bought the field from Hanamel, the son of my uncle, who was in Anathoth, and weighed out to him the money, 17 shekels of silver. 31. How were Esther and Mordecai related? They were siblings, uncle and niece, cousins, or father and daughter? Cousins, Esther 2.7, and Mordecai had brought up Hadassah, that is Esther, his uncle's daughter, for she had neither father nor mother. 32. Who among these married his father's sister? Abraham, Amram, Moses, or Solomon?
Amram, Exodus 6.20, Now Amram took for himself Jochebed, his father's sister, as wife, and she bore him Aaron and Moses. 33. What did Saul use to kill himself in his suicide attempt? Rope, rock, sword, or arrow? Sword. 1 Samuel 31.4 Then Saul said to his armor bearer, Draw your sword and thrust me through with it, lest these uncircumcised men come and abuse me. But his armor bearer would not, for he was greatly afraid. So Saul took a sword and fell on it. 34. From which people group did God call Abraham? Chaldeans, Canaanites, Hebrew, or Egyptians? Chaldeans, Genesis 12.1, Now the Lord had said to Abram, Get out of your country from your family and from your father's house to a land that I will show you. 35. Of what nationality did the daughters of Jethro tell their father Moses was? Hebrew, Egyptian, Canaanite, or Midianite? Egyptian, Exodus 2.19, And they said, An Egyptian delivered us from the hand of the shepherds, and he also drew enough water for us and watered the flock. 36. With whom had Moses left his wife and children in the wilderness? Jethro, Miriam, Joshua, or Aaron? Jethro, Exodus 18, 2-3, Then Jethro, Moses' father-in-law, took Zipporah, Moses' wife, after he had sent her back with her two sons. 37. To how many elders did God distribute the spirit that was in Moses? 24, 12, 30, or 70? Seventy Numbers eleven sixteen to seventeen. So the Lord said to Moses, Gather to me seventy men of the elders of Israel, and I will take of the spirit that is upon you, and I will put the same upon them. Thirty eight Who inherited the spirit that was in Elijah? Elisha, Nathan, David, or Isaiah? Elisha, 2 Kings 2, 9-10, And so it was when they had crossed over that Elijah said to Elisha, Ask, what may I do for you before I am taken away from you? Elisha said, Please let a double portion of your spirit be upon me. 39. Who is the mother of all living? Sarah, Eve, Rachel, or Mary? Eve, Genesis 3.20, and Adam called his wife's name Eve because she was the mother of all living. 40. Who was the father of Shechem, Abimelech, Jacob, Laban, or Hamor? Hamor, Genesis 34.2, and when Shechem the son of Hamor the Hivite, prince of the country, saw her, he took her and lay with her and violated her. 41. Who sold land to Abraham? Ephron, Melchizedek, Lot, or Abimelech? Ephron, Genesis 23, 16-18. So Abraham listened to Ephron, and Abraham weighed out the silver for Ephron, which he had named in the hearing of the sons of Heth. 400 shekels of silver, currency of the merchants. 42. Who was the father of nations? Moses, David, Abraham, or Israel? Abraham, Genesis 17.5 No longer shall your name be called Abram, but your name shall be Abraham, for I have made you a father of many nations. 43. Who was the father of Perez and Zerah? Jacob, Job, Judah, or Joseph? Numbers 
Judah, Matthew 1.3, Judah begot Perez and Zerah by Tamar. Perez begot Hezron, and Hezron begot Ram. 44. During which time did the angels sing, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace? Jesus' birth, transfiguration, resurrection, or Jesus' baptism? Jesus' birth. Shepherds, they sang the song, Luke 2, 13-14, and suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly hosts praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace. 45. Which among the commandments promises a long life? Honor your parents. Exodus 20, 12. Honor your father and your mother, that your days may be long upon the land which the Lord your God is giving you. 46. Whom did Adam blame for eating the fruit? A serpent, himself, Eve, or God? Eve, Genesis 3.12, Then the man said, The woman whom you gave to be with me, she gave me of the tree, and I ate. 47. Which book records the heroes of faith? Romans, Hebrews, Galatians, or James? Hebrews, Hebrews 11, Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. By faith, Abel offered to God a more excellent sacrifice. By faith, Noah. 48, What is the root to all evil? Money, love of money, the devil, or sin? Love of money, 1 Timothy 6.10 For the love of money is the root of all kinds of evil, for which some have strayed from the faith in their greediness, and pierced themselves through with many sorrows. 49. Who prophesied about the abomination of the desolation? Daniel, Ezekiel, Isaiah, or Jeremiah? Daniel, Daniel 9.27, Then he shall confirm a covenant with many for one week, but in the middle of the week he shall bring an end to sacrifice and offering, and on the wing of abominations shall be one who makes desolate. 50. During which feast did Jesus remain in the temple at the age of 12? Tabernacles, Pentecost, Passover, or Jubilee? Passover Luke 2, 41-43, His parents went to Jerusalem every year at the feast of the Passover. When they had finished the days, as they returned, the boys Jesus lingered behind in Jerusalem. 51, What part of Jesus' outfit did John say was unworthy to handle? His robe, his crown, his belt, or his sandals? His sandals. Matthew 3.11, I indeed baptize you with water unto repentance, but he who is coming after me is mightier than I, whose sandals I am not worthy to carry. 52. Who led Jesus to the wilderness to be tempted by the devil? Satan, the Holy Spirit, John the Baptist, or Jesus himself? Holy Spirit, Matthew 4, 1, Then Jesus was led up by the Spirit into the wilderness to be tempted by the devil. 53. What did the devil tell Jesus to turn into bread? Stones, a scroll, wood, or a staff? Stones. Matthew 4, 3, Now when the tempter came to him, he said, If you are the Son of God, command that these stones become bread. 54. From which place did the devil tempt Jesus to jump? The 
pinnacle of the temple, Matthew 4, 5-6. Then the devil took him up into the holy city, set him on the pinnacle of the temple, and said to him, If you are the Son of God, throw yourself down. 55. Which book was the devil quoting when he tempted Jesus to jump? Psalms, Proverbs, Jeremiah, or Isaiah? Psalm Matthew 4, 6, For it is written, He shall give his angels charge over you, and in their hands they shall bear you up, lest you dash your foot against a stone. Psalm 91, 11-12 56. Besides Psalm 1, which other book says he is like a tree planted by the waters? Isaiah, Jeremiah, Proverbs, or Ezekiel? Jeremiah, Jeremiah 17, 8, For he shall be like a tree planted by the waters which spreads out its roots by the river and will not fear when heat comes. 57. Who called the Pharisees children of the devil? Peter, John the Baptist, Jesus, or Paul? Jesus, John 8, 42-44, Jesus said to them, If God were your father, you would love me, for I proceeded forth and came from God. You are of your father the devil, and the desires of your father you want to do. 58. Who stopped the children from going to Jesus? The priests, Pharisees, Sadducees, or the disciples? The disciples, Matthew 19, 13 to 14, then little children were brought to him that he might put his hands on them and pray. But the disciples rebuked them. But Jesus said, let the little children come to me. 59, what was Jonah doing while the boat was rocked by storms? Praying, sleeping, crying, or preaching? Sleeping. Jonah 1.5, but Jonah had gone down into the lowest parts of the ship, had lain down, and was fast asleep. 60, whom did God tell he would make into a greater nation than the Israelites, Jacob, David, Abraham, or Moses? Moses, Exodus 32.10, Now therefore let me alone, that my wrath may burn hot against them, and I may consume them, and I will make of you, Moses, a great nation. 61. Who told God to wipe his name out of the book of life? Jeremiah, Job, Moses, or Abraham? Moses, Exodus 32, 31-32, Then Moses returned to the Lord and said, Oh, these people have committed a great sin and have made for themselves a god of gold. Yet now, if you will forgive their sin, but if not, I pray, blot me out of your book which you have. 62, Besides Elijah, who else asked God to kill him? Moses, David, Abraham, or Saul? Moses. Numbers 11, 14, and 15. I, Moses, am not able to bear all these people alone because the burden is too heavy for me. If you treat me like this, please kill me here and now, if I have found favor in your sight, and do not let me see my wretchedness. 63. Who refused to eat the food of the kings so he cannot defile himself? David, Daniel, Mordecai, or Samuel? Daniel, Daniel 1.8, but Daniel purposed in his heart that he would not defile himself with a portion of the king's delicacies. 64. How many years did the Babylonian captivity last? 70 years, 400 years, 17 years, or 40 years? Seventy years, Jeremiah 25, 11, and this whole land shall be a desolation and astonishment, and these nations shall serve the king of Babylon seventy years. 65. What did Lot's wife turn into? A pillar of stone, a pillar of salt, a tree, or a statue?
A pillar of salt. Genesis 1926, but his wife looked back behind him and she became a pillar of salt. 66. Who among these was a cupbearer? Joseph, Ezra, Nehemiah, or Daniel? Nehemiah, Nehemiah 111. O oh Lord, I pray, please let your ear be attentive to the prayer of your servant and to the prayer of your servants who desire to fear your name. I pray and grant him mercy in the sight of this man, for I was the king's cupbearer. 67. Who ate locusts and wild honey? Elijah, Paul, John the Baptist, or Peter? John the Baptist, Matthew 3, 4. Now John himself was clothed in camel's hair with a leather belt around his waist and his food was locusts and wild honey. 68. Who announced the birth of Samson? A prophet, an angel, his father, or God in a dream? An angel, Judges 13.3, And the angel of the Lord appeared to the woman and said to her, Indeed, now you are barren and have borne no children, but you shall conceive and bear a son. 69. Who was the widow of Nabal the fool? Abigail, Ruth, Naomi, or Deborah? Abigail, 1 Samuel 25, 39. So when David heard that Nabal was dead, he said, Then David sent and proposed to Abigail to take her as his wife. 70. Whose servant was Malchus? Herod, Annas, Pilate, or Caiaphas? Caiaphas, John 18.10, Then Simon Peter, having a sword, drew it and struck the high priest's servant, and cut off his right ear. The servant's name was Malchus. 71. Which book comes before the book of Haggai? Zephaniah, Zechariah, Malachi, or Nahum? Zephaniah. The book of Zephaniah comes before the book of Haggai. 72. Who mistook his daughter-in-law for a prostitute? Jacob, Isaac, Judah, or Saul? Judah, Genesis 38, 15. When Judah saw her, he thought she was a harlot because she had covered her face. 73. Who was the second-born son of Jacob? Levi, Simeon, Judah or Joseph? Simeon. Genesis 29.33 Then she conceived again and bore a son and said, Because the Lord has heard that I am unloved, he has therefore given me this son also. And she called his name Simeon. 74. How many sons did Jacob have? 7, 12, 4, or 24? Twelve, Genesis thirty-five twenty-two, and it happened when Israel dwelt in that land that Reuben went and lay with Bilhah his father's concubine, and Israel heard about it. Now the sons of Jacob were twelve. Seventy-five, who was given Mount Seir for a possession? Jacob, Caleb, Joshua, or Esau? 2 Deuteronomy 2.5 Do not meddle with them, for I will not give you any of their land. No, not so much as one foot step, because I have given Mount Seir to Esau as possession. 76. Which mountain did Caleb inherit? Mount Seir, Mount Carmel, Mount Sinai, or Mount Hebron? Mount Hebron, Joshua 14.13, and Joshua blessed him and gave Hebron to Caleb the son of Jephunneh as an inheritance. 77. What was the occupation of the two women fighting for one living child? Midwives, harlots, seamstresses, or cooks? 
harlots. First Kings 3.16 Now two women who were harlots came to the king and stood before him. 78 What were the priests' undergarments made of? Leather, wool, linen, or cotton? Linen, Exodus 28.42 And you shall make for them linen trousers to cover their nakedness. They shall reach from the waist to the thighs. 79. Which component of the armor of God is associated with peace? Belt, shoes, helmet, or shield? Shoes, Ephesians 6.15 And having shod your feet with the preparation of the gospel of peace. 80. How many talents of gold were left for the temple yearly in Solomon's time? 666, 1200, 700, or 1520? 666. 1 Kings 10.14 The weight of gold that came to Solomon yearly was 666 talents of gold. And that's all our questions today. Put your scores down below and share this with your friends and family, and we'll see you all in the next one.